Hello, and welcome back. My name is David Bellino. This is our fourth installment of Improving Mental Performance for Athletes and Coaches. Today we're going to talk about energy management, how you can control and manage your energy through the course of your participation to play at your best. Let's get started. So as I've used that image in the past, with a pyramid, right, self-awareness and self-reflection are really the bottom level of that pyramid. And right now we're roughly halfway through the self-awareness module. And after that, we'll move on to the next level, which will be skills and strategies based on the self-awareness that you've already raised. Today we're gonna to talk about energy level. And when I'd say energy level, I cannot stress enough the idea of context, 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 okay? Different individuals in different sports will require different energy levels. Even the same athlete in different sport will require different energy levels per those sports, okay? If I take a friend of mine that plays hockey and we go out on the golf course, his energy level or energy demands are gonna be different on the golf course than they are at the ice hockey arena. So we're gonna begin with what we'll call an energy level graph. And we use a bell curve because many of us are familiar with that. So when I look at this bell curve in this graph, on the far left hand side is very low energy. So practically you're asleep. On the right hand side is very high energy. So you're amped up all the way to the max. And then obviously in the middle will be somewhere in between. Now that top part of the curve, that top part of the bell is gonna be your performance. So your performance should be at its highest level based on the energy that you need in that moment. Keeping in mind, context, context, context. One sport is gonna be different than another sport. One individual is gonna be different than another individual. And then the last piece is that we need to imagine that there's actually a little slider on the bottom of that graph. So there'll be some times where we need to change our energy from low to medium to high, back to low, perhaps back to medium, so that we can perform at our highest level and know and understand, be aware of where we need to be during different moments to play at our highest level. So this brings us to our first activity. And what we'll do is use a stoplight approach. And when I say stoplight approach, I mean we'll color code green, yellow, red, based on green being your top level of performance, yellow being where your performance just starts to waver a little bit, and then red where your performance really starts to drop off. So the most bas basic explanation is gonna be that we just draw the bell curve, and then the very middle is gonna be when your performance at its, is at its highest level. Now keeping in mind, we have to draw that slider at the bottom because sometimes your middle amount of energy isn't gonna help you get to your highest level of performance. So the bell curve can shift right or left depending on the individual or depending on the demands of your sport. Now the example I'll use is a basketball player who drives to the lane and then gets fouled. So in that moment where they're driving to the lane, it's most likely that their energy level is gonna to be to the medium or high range. But then after they get fouled and they go to the line to shoot their free throws, it's more likely that their energy will go into the medium to low range. So that's why that slider and the context is so important because in different moments of the game, your energy level will need to change. And if you remember from the last video, there will be outside things that can tick us off or that can get us going. So we need to be aware of the energy demands of ourselves individually, where we perform at our best, and also what the demands of our sport are, they're gonna demand different energy levels. And I think this is also important from that coaching perspective. So coaches need to have an idea of what their individual players' energy demands are and when those individual players play at their best depending on what energy level they need in that moment, in that match, or in that training session, right? Different players will always have different energy demands based on their personality and their personal experiences. And it's also important that coaches know that their own influence, 
right? So some coaches are very robust and very energetic where others are more relaxed. And how the coach's energy level is sometimes can directly influence the energy level of their team or their team as a whole. And then finally, we have to think about our captains or our leaders on the team who will also help to dictate that energy level. Now, I can't stress enough, again, how important context, context, context is when we talk about energy level. And we'll use that as we go into our second small activity. And for this activity, I just want you to write down five different parts of your game, your activity, your sport, which will require all different energy levels. Okay, so I used the example before from the basketball player who's driving to the lane versus shooting free throws. Think about five different times in your sport that all require a different energy level. And you can see the theme here is to just some raise self-awareness and know when your energy level needs to change. Remember that slider beneath the graph so we can be able to adjust our energy level as needed to perform at our best. Now, as I mentioned, we are in that self-awareness piece or that bottom level of our mental performance pyramid. And I think some people might be curious, okay, well, what are some things I can do to improve my energy level? Or what, what can I do to help affect my energy in such a way that will help me out? And we'll get into more detail in future videos. And one of those will be music. There's a lot of athletes that already use and have been using for many, many years music as part of their pre-performance routine. So before the game, you'll see a lot of them with their headphones on. And what it is, is that vibrational quality or the lyrics, the music, the tempo, whatever it is about the music helps them get to an energy level where they know that they can perform at their best. Like, as I mentioned, we will get to these skills and strategies in more detail in the future, but just a couple ideas for you as you're raising self-awareness as to not only where your energy needs to be, but what skills and strategies you might already use to help get you to the energy level that you need. And on that note, we'll finish our session for today. I can't stress enough that context, context, context piece where every individual is different, everyone has different personal experiences, different personality, and we need to remember that energy level slider at the bottom where we can adjust our energy as needed in different moments, in different sports, to be able to play at our highest level. I thank you for tuning in. If these are videos that you're interested in, feel free to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.